Today we're talking art, and we're not stopping in Winston-Salem. We're going all the way to Shanghai. What's it all about? You'll find out coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Fox 43 studio. We're focused on art gallery originals and we're vis visiting with its president and co-founder, Hannah Davis. Good morning, Hannah. Great, thank you. I'm Thanks so much for coming down and coming in. I am delighted to be here. This is very exciting. Of course, when I say coming down, came down from Winston-Salem. Exactly. And my partner, Leanne Yi, in Shanghai sends her best regards. And she's in Shanghai. She is. Now, so you don't mean like Shanghai, South Carolina. I don't mean Shanghai, South Carolina or Shanghai, Alabama. I mean Shanghai, People's Republic of China. Wow. What? How did you all get to hooked up, Hannah? Well, believe it or not, it all started with Duke University. Is that right? And I think you're familiar with Duke. I know a little <laughs> bit about Duke. We've had some guests in this week from Duke. And some law professors. And Leanne's husband is an attorney. And when he was in Beijing, this was maybe 25 years ago, when China was much less open, um, some law professors at, in, at Duke were visiting Beijing. And her husband was able to come and study and get a law degree from Duke. And so through that, he met my father, and her husband became really part of the family um, for the three years that uh, he was studying at Duke. Great. And then through that relationship, I was friends with her, um, with his wife, and we were able to start this business. Great. Wow. Now, and either of you all have pretty intimate art backgrounds, or actually, we are both. Uh, very interested in art, but really not. She has an MBA from Carolina right. and uh, is actually an accountant and uh, uh, does a variety of other things. And my background was I was um, in banking. Yes, with investments. that's right. I think I saw in for a, a good while with Br Branch Banking and Trust with bb and That's exactly right. Which is very exciting, which has a big presence in the Carolinas. That's right. I was there for about 10 years and enjoyed that very much and then had an opportunity to really do something else and my passions are art and travel and this business is a way of really combining both. Yes, that you do. That's right. You've been in, when, when folks visit your website, artgo.us, they will see that you've had a heck of a lot of locations travel all over. Well, that's funny that you mentioned it. travel. It's, it's all relative. Initially, I thought I was going to be doing a lot of international travel, working with the artists in Shanghai. And as it's turning out, I'm doing a lot of travel in the southeast, which I'm enjoying. Yes, absolutely. So, Bringing art go to others. That's exactly letting right. Them, letting them know about it. When, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, we're marketing in about 10 states and um, have clients in New York City, New Orleans, Houston, really all over. And um, we've only been marketing for about a year and a half. Wow. And so things have really been catching on, and it's a lot of word of mouth, and people have been very, very supportive, and we're just most appreciative. It's a fascinating concept. Part of the reason we wanted to get you in uh, to highlight that, of course, this is a non-commercial show for right. the most part, so we were excited to see that you'd highlighted some amazing charities or helped provide uh, artwork for some silent auctions for the American Cancer Society, the Junior League in different cities. I mean, really made an impact. We certainly want to be good corporate citizens even from the get-go, and so that has been uh, something that we've been able to do and something that we um, would certainly be doing in the future. Yes, very definitely. And again, for folks who want to learn more about Art Gallery Originals, is the artgo.us a good good place to start? Or that is, is a there great a, place okay. to start. Actually, we've had over 33,000 hits to our website. You're kidding. So great. we are getting a lot, of, um, a lot of attention. With Art Gallery Originals, what we do is offer fine quality oil portraits at affordable prices. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be just a very large market of people who are looking for something that is is truly a piece of work of art. It is a a painting that is a portrait. In fact, occasionally I'll get phone calls of people inquiring if they can purchase one of the portraits that is on the website. Oh no! And I say, of course, you know, it is with the, the family of the child. Right. Sure. And um, but it is just it, and I, I think that is really testament to the quality and even to just what the nature of what Art Gallery Originals is all about. The, the paintings, it is about the art. The thing that we are the most proud of and the most excited about is the quality of the work. The mm -hmm. artists, the word I use is genius. 
I, really? I truly yeah, do. Yeah. What they are able to do is, is remarkable and stunning. Mm -hmm. um, objectively, the things that someone would look for when they are evaluating a portrait, mm -hmm. you would look for um, the proportion, are the arms the right length? Is there a giraffe neck or something too thin, too fat? Mm -hmm. uh, you would look for the brushwork, the teeny tiny detailing. The um, Also, you would look for the color. And of course, the oil paint, when it is wet, dries a different color. Mm -hmm. So the mastery of that, it is truly layer of layer and layer of different shades mm. to create such soft colors. Often people say, you know, I, I thought you really wouldn't be able to, to render in oil a child's portrait because right. the oil is so thick sure. and the child's coloring is so delicate mm -hmm. and you know it is that the artists are able to truly they have the the talent and the ability and the experience to um, to uh, render these colors that are so soft mm -hmm. uh, the pinks the, the word that keeps coming up is that the cotton candy mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. and the blues they are just sumptuous they truly are which makes the work of art something that is going to be very very livable there's oh, yeah. nothing that is jarring or is um is uh, it, it, it's something that is just so aesthetically yeah. pleasing so um mm -hmm. that, that was the third point you brought go ahead yeah mind. no keep going more points what, what yes. I, well what i find is it's very interesting is it often even people who have actually commissioned portraits they really, uh, this is a new way of presenting it. Um, the fourth thing, we talked about the proportion, the coloring, the brushwork. The fourth thing would be, of course, the likeness. Right. Does it look like the person? Yeah. And um, it is that the artists are, a, they paint using one photo as reference, and yet they are able to capture the personality. And I was speaking with the mother really not too long ago in Raleigh. And she said she was looking at the website and her three-year-old was looking over her shoulder right. and said, oh, that's William. And she, the child recognized a child on the website. Wow. And, um, and then of course the child said, why isn't my photo on that? Uh, or my portrait, yeah. Yeah. the child did not use portrait, but why, why is my picture not on the website? Yeah, sure. And um, so it, it is just amazing to think that a three and a half year old would be mm -hmm. able to recognize a, a classmate, your friend, or a classmate. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. And the, the last thing is, um, is it three dimensional? Huh. And that is where the artists, on a two dimensional surface, are able to truly create where you feel like you can touch the side of the child's face, mm. the roundness. You can the forehead. You could, uh, you can see touch the drapery in the in the dress. Mm -hmm. And that is, it is astounding. And uh, that, that's what I think anyway. I, I, yeah. and, um, and it's something that you, all of the, the combination of all of that is just something that you really rarely see. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it is that the works are so powerful, even something that is small in these very, very soft and delicate colors mm -hmm. because it is three dimensional and it is, it almost, it becomes an animate object. Oh yeah. I'm sure a lot of folks want to know. That's I more mean, than you wanted to yeah, know. No, but it's no, no, exciting no. and interesting folks to me. Folks want to know how you and uh, Lin Yi have decided that. Uh, I hope I pronounced yes, her name Yes, Lin Yi. Lin Yi decided that, that the artist would be in Shanghai. How y'all worked that through? Obviously, right. uh, as I mean, folks well, are thinking about artists in the in the U.S. or the U.K. or other places where she is there. We want to get into that, right. but as well as it is it almost exclusively children. I think I saw on your website there are some adults, and I uh, and you brought some great samples with us some we thank see you. here right in front of us a couple more you've brought thank you maybe we can highlight some of the exciting ones the uh the, we, both the the photo as well as then the uh i appreciate the portrait that itself. we definitely offer children's portraits and executive portraits as well mm -hmm. and i'll say quickly the whole way this business came about i have a cousin in charlotte and his wife came home and said i'd like to commission a portrait of our daughter yeah and my cousin said oh that's fine and his wife said that'll be ten thousand dollars oh wow and my cousin said that's not fine and he said to me you travel to asia and i was particularly enamored of the artists in vietnam and in china and he said can't those artists do something for less than ten thousand and right. that is that's how, how you that got was into researching two years ago wow. and then um you know here we are today and truly clients and i don't you know, really across the southeast primarily, and it's just something that there is a, a real 
and interested. These, and these clients, if they wanted to do it primarily in the southeast, they'd be spending north of ten ten thousand dollars or around that. If sure. These artists are a level artists. They would this be quality artists, right? They, they're they are nationally known and recognized in China, and if they were here, they would be nationally known and recognized in the U.S. And so. The, most of our commissions, the price point is 950 to about 3500 mm -hmm. And if for something comparable, you would be looking at, you would add a zero, basically. Wow. So it is, mm -hmm. it is um, something that is, is prohibitively expensive for many people, and then even just more expensive than what some people want to do. And then, of course, there are phenomenal artists here, and so right. there, there are just a myriad of great choices, and we're just another option. Oh yeah, absolutely. On the website I saw it, it, you talked about artists in, in, uh, in their respective countries, but primarily right now you're Shanghai. talking about in Shanghai, That's absolutely. Right. Almost all That's the artists right. are there in Shanghai. It is the case that if someone is unhappy about anything, we will refund the deposit and take the painting back. Mm. The works are truly perfect. There are no touch-ups. They are just perfect. Wow. So it is, it's just a very, very particular situation and that again is, is what we are so excited about. I think a lot of times it gets people's attention because of the pricing Right. and then when they sit down and they really start evaluating they recognize the quality mm -hmm. and then that becomes reason number one to five thousand and then oh yeah the, the pricing is the, the cherry on top. Oh yeah absolutely. Let's go through some of the examples. I Let's say it. you've got an example of a, a photograph, and how many photographs are normally taken? Is there just one? And of what? course, I think I saw on the website you encourage professional. You could just edit it. Yeah, that's good. You you encourage professional uh, photographers. We do. There are specific things. It is a very easy photo, but it is very specific. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has an interest, if they will give us a call, and we would be delighted to just walk them through. Right. This is a great example of a little boy. And if you will look on the the portrait. What the artist did is the artist recreated a garden background, mm -hmm. and um, the if you look, this it's a full length, which means full body, and you'll see that the child is a little bit stiff, and the artist in the portrait has created a lot of movement in the background, mm. so it is a balance to the stiffness of the body position. Right. Right. So there, there are just a myriad of things that a layperson might not know that are things that the artist adjustments, things that the artist will do that will in, increase the power and the, the their, beauty sure, of the work. Of their child this, as well, this yes. This is an example where the, the um, request was for a dark background. And so even though the painting, or excuse me, the photo was taken inside, the, um, the background was changed and, um, and, and made into a dark background. So what happens is, the client is able to choose if you your size, if you want smaller, whatever that, whatever size, and also you can choose a head and shoulder. You can have a three quarters, meaning you would have the hands. Right. This would be a three quarters, or the full length, which would be the full body. Sure. And we we're, are happy to chat with clients about those options and give recommendations. And and I think that um, clients often find that the things that they may might have thought of or not thought of. We can we can help them with that. Mm -hmm. And with backgrounds, the client is able to choose. They, the artist can paint in a um, a garden background, right, right. or an abstract background, or um, a this would be in this uh, painting. The artist painted in an abstract background. And what the artist will do is, it is extremely complicated and very sophisticated colors that are chosen for the background. Right. So every every element of this is going to be specific to your child and that specific photo. Sure. So um, That's this, a great shot. Uh, this I is, saw that portrait. This is one of the most popular ones. This little girl is in London. And this photo was actually taken by a French portrait artist. Wow. And um, of, of all of the portraits on the website, this one seems to get the most attention. Yeah, I saw uh, that portrait uh, often here in the studio, yes. Told that it, Those it are some beautiful like it, shots. Uh, it should be in a um, museum. And this would be, you can have two children. Right. And that would be an example. And Wow, that's fantastic. We have really hit a lot of great shots there. And if I might just do yeah, one or oh, two more. Yeah, of course, yeah. This is a great example of um, 
of how the artist paints the light. You can see the light on the side of his face, and you can see the light in the portrait, and it right. is it is so dramatic, yeah. and yet so elegant. Mm -hmm. This is a um, 16 by 20, head and shoulders, and it's about $1,500. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, we have a lot of, this is another, and this is, it would be a three quarters. Right, sure, sure, not a full, and full body. And then you can see here where the artist, the child, actually there was a chair here. Right. And the artist painted and, and changed that just a little bit. Um, this is These one are that amazing, be, Hannah. You must be thrilled to be involved in this. And again, if someone wanted to learn more, they could visit the artgo.us. Art, exactly. They, could they also make a phone call if someone didn't have internet access? Thank you. The phone number is 336-723-0064. Right. Right. Okay. So Would they want to ask listed. for you? Or obviously if there's a voicemail, I'm Absolutely. sure a number of any of your associates. Absolutely. 336-723-0064. That's it. Okay. Go ahead, please. Oh, oh. Um, he, this is an example where the artist has created a background. And you can right. see he's got the wicker chair. So they're all truly different and truly unique. And yeah. the charm of each age, each stage, is, is apparent in each work. Oh, and yeah. that is, that is um, what clients are really responding to. And interestingly, going in, I would say most clients their first choice is to have a garden background. Right. And as we chat about it and chat about portraits and, and what these artists are able to do, they change and they really want just the abstract background. So it's just the subject. And um, they, they recognize, the clients recognize what the potential is with these mm. artists and their abilities. Right. And so it, it's just a, a truly a celebration of art. That's what oh, it's yeah, all about. Absolutely. Now, have you had the chance to travel over much of the People's Republic of China? I have had several trips. And visit and to Li and Yi and uh, travel your partner again as in well December. As her, some of the artists that you all right. commissioned to uh, do these amazing That's, pieces. I, we were paid a very high compliment in my book. Um, Leanne was chatting with some of the artists, and they were expressing how much they enjoyed the relationship. Right. And Leanne said, they said that we were very fair that we were honest and good people and she said they said we were very 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 hard working which I took mm -hmm. as a big yeah. compliment because I think they're very very hard working. Oh yeah they've got to be so, absolutely. So they they um, they're they are very pleased with how things are going and we're pleased and the clients are pleased so sure. it's just a, a very happy story. Now growing up Hannah and you grew up in Winston-Salem I, I did. believe. Right growing I up did. there had family members or otherwise uh, thought about portraits I mean it was so something. That's, that's a great question my grandmother was an artist and so growing up we used to pose and we were you know always being photographed and she right. would want us to sit for her and oh, that yeah. was just part of the, the growing up experience she'd paint this grandchild and she'd paint that grandchild and I probably have even now maybe five or six um, portraits of myself wow. that my grandmother did and I can see in those her progression where oh, yeah. it's almost a stick figure and and each of them they, I mean they just are so charming yeah and um, and, and really, it comes down to, again, the appreciation of art and the concept of original art, patronizing artists. And with this, for a lot of our clients, you know, they, they might not have original art in their head. Sure, of course. And this is a first step. And so... It's a great um, point. So it, it's definitely uh, the introduction and just the, the beginning of why would I, why would I spend money on art? Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? And... Um, the enjoyment, hopefully, that these clients get. I, um, I, a painting was delivered in Columbia, South Carolina, and right. probably 10 commissions came in the next 24 hours. Wow. And I was calling someone back, and I got the husband, and I said, oh, this is Hannah Davis with Art Gallery Originals. And the husband said, I know who you are. He said, every woman in Columbia has been to see that painting. Wow. So it, it just is, it, it, it's a, an interest and an excitement right. about yeah. about about the art that is fantastic and of course now growing up when you see when you think about those four or five shot pick portraits yes that your grandmother had done were those all hung did those all get placement in the house or i think they were in the attic yeah right oh yeah yeah and i you assume know, i mean so when you think about the portraits being done if i someone was to have one let's say done for their daughter 
would they then do one later in life? How does that work? For viewers who may not be familiar with portraits in a home. Right. What, with my grandmother, I say that mine was in the attic. Just that she, because she was an artist, she had, was so prolific. Everywhere, yeah. She, <laughs> get them all. But um, no, d definitely, um, it, there is, I get the question, what age? And there is, as you will see, all these different yeah. ages and stages, they have their own charm. The, there's a little head, I believe, the little girl, um, and that's a 12 by 16, and that's a 950. Right. And for a, if you have a cute two-year-old, you yeah. you know, the issue is hair. If you've got a hair and there's a two-year-old or three-year-old, that is an adorable thing. Yeah. And then a very typical thing is a four-year-old or five-year-old, a three-quarters. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, seven and eight, you can do head and shoulders. And at 16, you can do head and shoulders. Wow. And, uh, you know, adults, I mean, they're just as, uh, the children on the beach are probably right. eight and nine. You know, there's just no wow. wrong yeah. age. Right. But, um... It, hopefully, it will be that people will consider doing this and, and just have just immense enjoyment and, and new understanding and appreciation of well, art. Let's go over some of the steps. we got about five minutes, about yeah. 20 minutes have blown by, so we want to go over some of those steps. If a viewer was interested, let's say, they contacted you and said uh, someone just gave them a gift, they've got $3,500, they want to go all out, or they've got $2,500, right. whatever they want to do. Right. Of course, then they later have to look into other op I mean, other exciting aspects right. of it, but what are some of the steps they need to go through? If they will give us a call, right. and we will work with them about getting the photo. That is a very specific thing, and if they'll just give us a call, in most areas we have photographers that we work with that we could just refer you to. Right. So, it, it, the clients say that the, the photography aspect has been fun. And right, it just yeah. is, the client will be able to determine the attire. We have clients who are having dresses specially made, and mm -hmm. or you can have overalls, or you can have the, the child and the, your pet dog, or I mean, whatever sure. it is. And truly, you get to decide that. Mm -hmm. And in choosing the attire, the bow, not to bow, what, whatever it is, that's going to set the tone. Oh yeah. And um, and a question comes up frequently: Do I choose the artist? And it is the case that all of these artists are at the same level artistically and they paint within a very narrow range. So mm -hmm. the face of the subject will be detailed and then it will be become more painterly as it uh, goes uh, out into the composition. And it is that when you decide a very formal dress, that's going to dictate a lot of the style because that's going to be more finely detailed than a boy in a polo shirt where you don't want to see every stitch of the polo shirt. Oh, so yeah. it really the the style and all of that it works and it's it's it the process is we get the photo, we talk with the client about some of the choices right. and then the painting is back in about four to six months and wow. we ship them the painting and then hopefully we have a very happy client and yeah, in the neighborhood yeah, the neighborhood sure. knows there's a new painting in town. That's um, very exciting, absolutely. And you know when you when you when you go back home now or you see your your folks house and you go in and you see these portraits, let's say a family portrait. Right. I don't know if you all ever had one of those done or otherwise maybe your, your group grandmother. I should ask you if you have some. And we do, absolutely. Kind of portrait. uh, family portraits and I see myself as a 13 year old or 14 year old I think well I'm not like that anymore but, but, but at the same time it's a great to look back and think on your and, life and, and, at that point and remember the time where you went to someone's house had the photo done or otherwise. It is. It, it's a very uh, it's a very special tradition that I think is, is primarily in the southeast, but it's all over. And right. um, you know, to have this capture a certain time mm -hmm. is is very meaningful and it's something that you can pass down. And again, with these portraits, they are paintings that if strangers would want to hang them, you know, you know, generation after generation yeah, sure. that they will there will be a demand. So they will, they, I think they will be something that will be well enjoyed for a very long time. Absolutely. For viewers who, uh, who travel the southeast or oftentimes they may overlap in cities, you've got some up presentations or some trips? We have some open houses. Open um, houses, We'll be at the O'Henry Hotel in Greensboro on September the 7th. Right. And then in Knoxville on Monday the 12th. Right. And then in Nashville at the Hampton Inns in Green Hills. That would be the, the 13th. 13th. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. And Wednesday the 14th will be in Chattanooga. Right. And the 15th in Atlanta at the Grand Hyatt in Buckhead. 
and then uh, on the 16th at, in Greenville, South Carolina at the Greenville Country Club. How exciting, So Hannah. Yes, all are welcome, and we're appreciative of people spreading the word. Absolutely. Artgo.us. There is no .com. It's just artgo.us. Artgo.us. That's exactly. wonderful. And has Leanne Yee been over recently to help uh, she, go out on these shows with you? She has not. We she need has to get not. Her over. We definitely do. She would, I think, enjoy the shows, and I think folks would enjoy getting to chat with her. That's great. Congratulations, Hannah. Well, Very I'm exciting. I'm so appreciative of being here. Thank you. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Hannah Davis coming up next. Those are great words, exceptionally fine quality oil portraits at affordable prices. Exceptionally fine quality oil portraits at affordable prices. Those are some key words when you think about what it's all about. Since 2003, Lian Yi from Shanghai and Hannah Davis from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Think of those two partnering together, getting hooked up just two years ago in the rapid, expansive growth of ArtGo, Art Gallery Originals. ArtGo.us, you know, folks say, where am I going when I go there? Well, you've got to take the time to visit. There's some exciting things online. www.artgo, A-R-T-G-O dot U-S. Take the time to visit the site. There's some amazing information. There's some great shots, as you heard Hannah talk about it, the excitement of some kid as he looks over his mother's shoulder and sees a friend of his. I mean, those are the kind of portraiture that you see online at artgo.us. Take the time to visit. 